啊。Uh, today our topic is the soil pollution. So pollution means my voice is audible to you. Voice is audible to you. So pollution means, uh, okay, if anything is excessive in that, that is known as a pollution. Okay. So that means, for example, you know very well in the atmosphere. Okay. Oxygen, oxygen gas is present in the tap. Oxygen gas is present especially 21 percent and nitrogen gas is present in the 78 percent. Remaining all other gases is present in the 1 percent. So in that especially carbon dioxide 0 0.03. Okay. So that means uh, any excess thing is uh, joined into that atmosphere is called pollution. Yes or no? So our environment is composed of the atmosphere, earth and water. Atmosphere means what is the definition? Ah, composed that earth. Uh, uh, that earth is covered with that uh, air is called atmosphere. Okay. So, the interaction of the atmosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere is continuing for years together. Lithosphere means where it is uh, in that, uh, especially in the earth, uh, okay, that stones are present, that is known as the lithosphere. Hydrosphere means water and biosphere means especially for the living things. Okay. Soil is the one of the marvelous product of the nature and without which there would be no life. So soil is the important natural resource. If there is no soil, there is no life. There is no soil, there is no plant. There is no soil, there is no animal. There is no soil, there is no plants and animals. There is no soil, there is no human being. Is it okay? Is it correct? Yes or no? So next, so how the soil formation do you know weathering of the rocks? Weathering of the rocks, soil is formed. One inch of the soil making millions of the years. Millions of the years. So soil formation is a long and complex process and it can take 100 to the 10,000 years to create a one inch of the top soil. So that's why soil is a very, very important natural resource. Is it clear? Yes. Next. Next. So here, so parent rocks, parent rock material are weathered by the effects of freezing, okay, thawing, wetting, drying, heating, cooling, erosion of the plants and the animals and form the chemical reaction. So through that, so due to the parent rock materials, when it is weathered by the effects of the freezing, thawing, wetting, drying, heating, cooling, erosion of the plants and animals, form to the chemical reaction. That crop of the quality directly depend upon the quality of the agriculture soil in which it is grown. Organic matter in the soil improve the water infiltration, decrease the evaporation and increase the water holding capacity. So the, the soil properties can be divided into three major categories. One is the physical properties, chemical properties and biological properties. In the physical properties, we can include the soil color, soil texture, soil structure and soil porosity. Okay, this is belongs to the 
physical properties biological properties okay so biological properties include the both the plants and animal forms are ranging from the sub microscopic viruses to the earthworm and large burrowing animals such as a uh, okay such as a gophers and ground squirrels so that means uh, what is the bio biological properties means microscopic organism to the biggest animal and uh, so soil consists of the nutrient uh, necessary for the plant growth such as the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so the term ph ph means what logarithm of the term negative of the hydrogen is called ph in that ph scale generally you know very well in the ph scale okay 0 to 14 in between it is so 7 is the neutral 0 to 6 is called acid and 8 to 14 is known as the alkaline in nature is it okay so the term ph is used to indicate the chemical properties of the soil so ph is that is the chemical properties what are the chemicals are present in the soil presence of the organic matter in the soil as close to the relationship with the soil ph soil richer in the organic matter is acidic in the nature okay next so the availability of the term availability of the nitrogen okay potassium calcium magnesium and sulfur tend to decrease with the decreasing of the ph the ph soil is a important in determining the type of the vegetation that will grow in the soil and the type of the organism that will live there so that means ph factor is a very very important which type of the plants are survive which type of the animals are survive so that's why soil ph is a very important factor soil is the most abundant and diverse ecosystem on the earth especially in one acre of land where the top soil is 8 inches thick near 5 and of tons of the bacteria present 5000 50000 earthworms are also present in that one acre soil microbes convert the organic forms of the elements to do then inorganic forms and liberate carbon dioxide ammonia by the process is known as the mineralization okay fertility of the soil is closely associated with the properties of the soil and is defined by its capacity to hold water and supply of the nutrient to the plant when they need them independent of direct application of the nutrient proper soil fertility management is very important for the successful of the crop production and farming especially crop production farming soil fertility is a very important okay next next one okay the waste generated from the various sources can be categorized into the two types one is the biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste for example we are also releasing waste material plants also releasing to the waste material for example every day we are using to that uh, plastic papers uh, okay plastic covers uh, polythene covers uh, so which are the dissolve in the soil that is known as a biodegradable things which are the not dissolve in the soil that is known as a non biodegradable things non biodegradable things causing to the pollution to the environment okay so the waste generated from the various sources can be categorized into the two types one is the biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste biodegradable means which are the dissolved in the soil that is known as the biodegradable so decomposition is the process of the material being digested and broken down into the simpler substances making to the nutrient more available to the plant and soil or land pollution can be understood as the addition of the substances which adversely affect the quality of the soil or its fertility on the basis of the sources of the pollutant soil pollution can be classified into three categories one is the agriculture soil pollution 
second one is the soil pollution by the industrial effluent or solid waste what are the waste material coming from that uh, industries that is called industrial effluent third one is the pollution due to the urban activities so because every day day by day that uh, so for example hyderabad is growing so urban activities uh, agriculture land is converted into that uh, industrial land agriculture land is converted into that factories agriculture land is converted into that uh, okay construct land so these are the steps we are taking so that why soil is polluted now so a soil pollutant is a, any factor which is a deteriorate the quality texture and mineral content of the soil actually the soil pollutant they can change the quality of the soil they can change the color of the soil and they can change the content of the soils of the mineral which disturb the biological balance of the organism in the soil next pesticides not only have the toxic effect on the human and animal but also decrease the fertility of the soil day by day that population is increasing increasing of the population we can increasing the crop product so that's why we are using to the pesticide herbicide insecticide so if you are uh, these are the pesticides insecticide again join it into the food chain if you are eating that is also enter in our body and that is also increasing of the uh, okay especially or uh, decreasing of the fertility of the soil biomagnification the process of the increasing of the concentration of the chemical to the food chain is known as the biomagnification for example if we are uh, every day that population is increasing so that's why we are using to that uh, crops uh, pesticides we are applying if that pesticides are applying to that uh, crops again we are depend upon the crops that crops are we are eating that uh, uh, what are the pesticides also enter in our body that is known as the, that process of the increasing of the concentration chemical through the food chain is called biomagnification next uh, solid waste may be defined as the organic and inorganic waste produced by the various activities of the society which have lost their value to the first user okay solid waste generally especially in that construction purpose we are releasing to the solid waste okay that is also causing to the soil pollution soil erosion occur when the weathered of the soil particles are dislodged and carried away by the wind or water especially soil erosion soil move to that one place to the another place is known as the soil erosion more number of the plants is present prevent of that soil erosion if the every day day by day that deforestation we are doing soil erosion is increasing soil erosion is increasing soil pollution also increasing so that's why instead of the soil okay soil erosion we can grow the plants we can control that soil erosion okay with the help of that roots they are soil is winding through that uh, okay so I, with the help of the soil uh, with the help of the plants that soil is the binding by the roots that uh, soil erosion is the preventing akam shari understanding next especially forest and grassland are an excellent binding of the material that keep the soil intact okay if you are growing up the crops if you are growing to the forest that is the soil erosion is the prevent, prevent urban activities especially generate large quantities of the city waste including the several biodegradable material nowadays we can using to the plastic nowadays we are using to the polythene nowadays we are using to the covers okay these are all the things are not dissolved in the soil so that is making it to that increasing of the soil pollution soil pollution next so if the solid waste is left uncollected and decomposed they cause the problems like clogging of the drain barrier to the movement of the water foul smell increased microbial activity you know very well you know very well okay in the solid waste every day we are also releasing to the solid waste these are the solid waste is the 
have left uncollected what happened decomposed they causing to the problems okay clogging of the drains barrier to movement of the water foul smell increased increased the microbial activities that uh, if that bacteria is present uh, they are causing what happened this avinash again coming hello avinash ha huh? ah oh, okay next to prevent the soil pollution we can limit construction and sensitive area okay we can control the soil pollution construction also limited is present if they are growing to the plant we can control that soil pollution next okay in general we would need to less fertilizers and fewer pesticides if we all could adapt the three reduce reuse risk okay especially controlling of the soil pollution especially we can use it to the less amount of the natural fertilizer you can use it to the more and you can use it to the less amount of the pesticide okay these are the artificial fertilizers and pesticides herbicides insecticide these are all of the causing of the pollution to that soil okay so that's why we can control that soil pollution we can use it to the Three R principle. What are the three R principle? Okay, reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay, reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce means you can reduce it to the pollution. Reuse means again re use it again and again. What is the recycle? If you are using the paper again, you can use it to the recycle. Next. incineration of the waste is a expensive and leaves a huge residue and adds to air pollution for example continuously leaves are fall down if you are burning that is also causing to the pollution pyrolysis is a process of the combustion in the absence of the oxygen the material burnt under the controlled atmosphere of the oxygen okay pyrolysis means uh, lack of the oxygen also they are causing to the pollutant bio remediation bio remediation means we use the biological remedy to reduce or clean up that contamination okay we can conserve the soil by the planting trees what are the methods we are used to the control of the soil uh, uh, soil pollution we can conserve the soil by the planting of the trees terrace non till forming counter plowing crop rotation method maintaining soil ph watering the soil salinity management and maintaining of the microbial equilibrium of the soil and indigenous crops generally these are the methods we are using we can control the soil pollution what are the methods first one is the planting the trees second one is the terrace third one is the non till forming fourth one is the counter plowing fifth one is the crop rotation crop rotation means uh, every time if you are growing to the only one type of the crop that soil okay that cro crop productivity is the decreasing so that why increasing of the crop productivity we can use it to the crop rotation method alternative crops okay maintaining of the soil ph if you are every time if you are using to the same types of the crops soil <coughs> fertility is are decreasing and watering of the soil some of the crops are go, taking to that water very less some of the crops are using to that more amount of, if you want to see the paddy more amount of the water is present if you see the pulses less amount of the water so watering of the soil salinity management so salinity means in that soil also nutrients are present micronutrient and macronutrient every time you can conduct the test for the soil okay what is the ph of the soil also we can conduct that test. which crops are the growing on that soil that is suitable to that crop or not we can check it and maintaining of the microbial equilibrium so in that particular area in that particular soil all the micronutrients or microorganisms are present is there or not if the microorganism is helping of the uh, increasing of the crop productivity okay so indigenous crops so here ddt full form 
dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane ddt is the one of the example of the insecticide what is that insecticide insecticide vhc vhc means benzene hexachloride benzene hexachloride this is also one of the example of the insecticide do you know 24d Two four D. Two four dichlorophenyl acetic acid. This is the one of the VD side. This is the one of the examples of the VD side. Dicotyledon VD side. Dicotyledon VD side. Okay. So some important pesticide: gamaxin, chlorinated dichlorocarbons. Organophosphate, aldrin, melathion, dialdrin, pyridine. So these are the examples of the pesticides name. What is that? Gamaxin, chlorinated dihydrocarbons. Okay, dihydrocarbons. Organophosphate, aldrin, melathion, dialdrin. Period and so these are the examples of the insect pesticides. Ah, now coming to the point, they are given uh, definitions. Now we can see. Ah, now coming to the point. So atmosphere. What is the meaning of the atmosphere? The gaseous envelope surrounding the earth constitutes that is called atmosphere. What is the atmosphere? The gaseous envelope surrounding the earth constitutes the atmosphere. Lithosphere. Lithosphere means solid rocky layer covering the entire surface of the planet. Solid rocky layer covering the entire surface of the planet is called lithosphere. Hy hydrosphere. Hydrosphere means uh, contain all the earth's bodies of the water. Okay. If the water bodies are present, that is called hydrosphere. Okay. Biosphere. All the life supporting zones on the earth are the Together is called biosphere. Biosphere is nothing but living things like plants and animals. In that earth, what are the living things are present? That is called biosphere. Biosphere is nothing but plants and animals. Next, weathering. Breakdown of the bigger rocks into the smaller mineral particles. You know very well, soil is formed due to the weathering of the rocks. Weathering of the rocks. That big, big, big rocks, they can convert it into the small, small rocks. So that's why small inch of that uh, soil also taking to that 100 to the 10,000 millions of the years taking. Are you understand? Next, leaching, removal of the substance by the water passing through it is called leaching, leaching. Removal of the substance by water passing through it is called leaching. Pyrolysis, pyrolysis, pyrolysis means uh, this is a process of the combustion in the absence of the oxygen. The material burnt under controlled atmosphere of the oxygen. Actually they are burnt but lack of the oxygen they, they are under control of the oxygen so that is known as the pyrolysis. Next, biogeochemicals cycle. Biogeochemical. Bio means what? Plants and animals. Geo means what? Land. So that means uh, what are the chemicals are present? For example, we breathe the toxin. So that is coming from the plant, plant to animal. After that, death of the plants and animal again that is joined into the soil. So these are the cycles are known as the biogeochemicals. Geo to bio, bio to geo. So that's why this is called bio geochemical cycle. 
the cycles that involve the flow of the nutrient on the earth from environment to organism and back to the certain pathways is known as so first one that earth to organism organism to the environment environment to the again soil so these are the cycles are known as the biogeo chemical cycle biogeo chemical cycle next biodegradable substances biodegradable substances biodegradable waste biodegradable waste substances that can be degraded by the microbes into harmless and non toxic substances okay animal excretion plant waste okay so these are known as the biodegradable waste okay next non biodegradable waste next one what non biodegradable waste substances that cannot be easily degrade degrade polythene paper okay plastic they they are the biodegradable in the soil no so that's why that is known as a non biodegradable waste soil erosion soil erosion loss of the top layers of the soil by wind or water is known as the soil erosion soil they can move to that one place to the another place through the air water is called soil erosion if the soil they can move to that one place to the another place through the air and water so that is known as the soil erosion soil erosion we can prevent it with the help of the growing of the plant growing of the plant are you understand next bio magnification bio magnification actually day by day that population is increasing need of the population we can provide to the nutrient provide to the food to that organism so that's why we can use it to that uh, pesticides insecticides uh, so increasing of the crop yield so that's why when we are applied to the pesticides insecticide that pesticides and insecticide also join it into that uh, crop plant again if you are eating that crop plant that nutrients again joined into your body through the food chain so that is called bio magnification bio magnification the process of the increasing concentration of the toxic chemical through the food chain is called bio magnification bio magnification bio remediation bio remediation bio remediation bio remediation means uh, so it means to use the biological remedy to reduce or clean up uh, soil contamination we can uh, okay if any damage is occur in that soil we can use it to the biological uh, biological remedy like plants and animal we are using reduce to the clean up the soil that is called bio remediation mycorrhiza so actually you know very well you know very well so in that atmosphere nitrogen is present in that 78 percentage of the nitrogen this nitrogen is present in the atmosphere in the molecular state these plants are not cannot utilize it to this nitrogen so that's why actually plants they are taking to the nitrate form so that is the no3 or ammonia ammonia okay ammonia form so that means uh, nh4 so that means uh, leguminosity plant uh, root nodule that plant provide to the uh, shelter to the rhizobium leguminosum this rhizobium leguminosum okay molecular nitrogen converted into the nitrate form or ammonia form then plants are utilized in this both of them beneficial to each other that plant is provide to the shelter to the rhizobium leguminosum and this rhizobium leguminosum molecular nitrogen converted into the nitrate or ammonia both of them beneficial to each other this type of the nutrition is called symbiosis symbiosis we can seen in that especially for the leguminosity plants are you understand 
आकांक्ष लेग्मिनेस रेड ग्राम ग्रीन ग्राम ब्लैक ग्राम पी प्लान नेक्स्ट हियर व्हाट इज दैट माइकोराइजा माइकोराइजा इज अ सिम्बायोटिक एसोसिएशन व्हिच इज अ टेकिंग प्लेस बिटवीन द फंगल एंड द रूट्स ऑफ द हायर प्लान so that means uh, this bacteria providing to that shelter to that uh, plant that bacteria converted into the molecular nitrogen to the nitrate or ammonia form both of them beneficial to each other next uh, humus topography humus topography humus topography means okay so it is the shape of the configuration of the land represented on the map by the contour lines okay so actually in that land we can show that uh, so this line is this this line is this like, uh, like that humus topography means uh, okay it is the shape of, shape of the configuration of the land represented on the map by the contour lines parental material any type of the substance or material which undergoes some process to produce another material so actually you know very well okay so in that uh, amoeba in that amoeba binary fusion so this is the parent so two daughter cells are formed this is the now parent again two daughter cells are formed so this is the parent okay so that means this is the first parent this is the daughter cell then this is the parent this is the daughter cells like that uh, anything they are coming from the parent material only okay they are break down and they are coming to that daughter cell again that daughter cell to become a parent again that they are coming from the daughter cell so parental material means any type of the substance or material which undergoes some process to produce another material so that uh, coming from the parent material only is it clear next uh, next one is the sobbing the process where by the heat change something from a solid to liquid so that means uh, solid change to that liquid which is temperature that is uh, changing that uh, the process whereby the heat changes something from a solid to a liquid is called uh, next uh, crumbs crumb a very small quantity of the something uh, is called crumb stench stench a strong very unpleasant smell is called stench trash trash means things that we throw away because we no longer want or need them that is called trash next smelt to heat and melt ore actually generally all the uh, ores are getting from that uh, smell uh, if you are apply to the heat only we are getting to that ores smelt means to heat and melt ores wood actually you know very well rubber we are getting from the hevia bridgelensis when they are wood that rubber it will come wood the liquid flows from the place to slowly that is known as a wood clog clog means ah uh, so clog means to block or become a blocked for example so here blood vessel is present in this blood vessel any fat is present that blood uh, that blood is not move one place to the another place so that is known as a clog okay to block or become blocked okay that how that he already this is the fat molecule is there so that's why that uh, that blood is not move one place to the another place because of the clog okay next uh, inundate uh, inund that to cover an area of the land with a large amount of the water is called inundate next dive very serious omni present present everywhere omni omnivorous animal 
So which of the organism they can eat the plant and animal product is called omnivorous. Here omnipresent. Omnipresent means they are present everywhere is called omnipresent. Omnipresent. And tillage. Tillage means the process preparing and using the land for the growing of the crops is called tillage. Abode. Abode means living place is called abode. Next, gophers, animals that live in the holes in the ground. Okay, gophers. Soil fertility, soil fertility. The soil containing rich nutrient and is suitable for the plants grow. All sufficient amount of the nutrients are present in the soil that is called soil fertility. Okay, mineralization. So, form of the minerals is called mineralization. So, mineralization is a process of the converting, uh, converting organic forms of uh, elements to their uh, inorganic forms by the soil microbes, liberating carbon dioxide, ammonia, sulfate and phosphate. So, that is the formation of the minerals is called mineralization. Formation of the minerals is called mineralization. Abate, abate means we can reduce, reduce, reduce and uh, fragility, easily broken or damaged, substable, so not very noticeable, so not, uh, we cannot notice, so some of the changes are occur, uh, very noticeable some of the changes, so this is about this lesson, soil pollution, soil pollution. Okay, so next, uh, last lesson, what is the last lesson? Biogeochemicals. Bio next class we will discuss biogeochemicals. Now you have the any doubt regarding soil pollution. This is a general topic. Okay, how the soil pollution is occurring? What are the things are present? How do we can control the soil pollution? What are the things we can use? How to preserve the soil? How the soil is formation? Uh, what are the properties of the physical properties and chemical properties and biological properties? Everything we can study in the soil pollution. Any doubt regarding? Okay, last class we will discuss. After that completion of the last class we have the exam. Okay, physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics. Mathematics is the 40 marks. Physics 20, chemistry 20, biology 20. Total 60 plus 40. 100 marks exam is there, once you can prepare, okay, what are the basic things is there, that only we can conduct the exam, prepare well for the exam, okay. What is the annual examination, are you got the dates? Uh, any doubt regarding the biology? Uh, no doubt. For example, in your day-to-day -day life, uh, any doubt uh, about that biology? Huh? No doubts means you are not studying well. If you are studying uh, well means you are getting to the doubts. Please concentrate on the studies and prepare for the annual examination. Okay? Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.